After you watch this video, you will have all the knowledge that you need to run your first Minecraft speedrun. What's up guys, today's video is the fourth episode of how to run your first Minecraft speedrun. This is the last part out of a four episode series. In each episode, I'm teaching you one aspect of speedrunning. And after you watch this last episode, you will have all the knowledge that you need to run your first Minecraft speedrun and even to get a respectable time. Part 1 was about world resetting. Part 2 was about the overworld. Part 3 was about nether. And this part is going to be about the end. If you didn't watch the last 3 episodes, definitely go watch them and then come back to this video. In the last video, I showed you how to leave the nether with all the materials that you need for finding the stronghold. So I'll start where we last stopped. After you leave the nether, you do something called distant estimation. Basically, you throw one eye of ender, then you save the angle of the eye, and then go 17 blocks in 90 degrees to the side. Then throw another eye, take the eye's angle, and measure the angle change. Then you have a rough estimation of how far the stronghold is. If you have 20 obsidian or more, you can divide the distance of the stronghold by 8 and go this number of blocks in the nether to save potentially a lot of time. This is pretty complicated strategy, so I'll leave a much more clear and detailed video about it in the description. You can also do a similar strat called triangulation. It's basically just the same thing, but more scuff. You need to throw an eye, then go a bit of the angle for about 100 blocks, then throw another eye and where the line of those eyes meet, is roughly is where the stronghold is. I will highly recommend showing chunk borders when doing this strategy. When you find the stronghold chunk, dig down at 4-4. This will put you right in the starter staircase. When you search for the portal room, you should always go first in the middle hallway, since it's most likely to have one in it. The portal room most likely to spawn 5 to 9 rooms from the starter staircase, so if you already went like 8 rooms and you don't see it, you should probably go back. There's also a strat called preemptive, where you find the direction of the portal by using the F3 menu. I'll leave a link for it down in the description. After you enter the end, you need to build the obsidian setup for the one cycle. The obsidian setup needs to be facing to the right or left from the spawn island, like I show in the video. The reason for that is pretty complicated, and if you want to know more about it, I'll leave a more detailed video about it in the description. After you set up the obsidian, go as far as you can on the line of the obsidian setup. When you wait for the dragon to perch, you can do a strat called half bow, where you destroy as many crystals as you can quickly, and basically every one that you destroy gives the dragon a higher chance of perching. When you see the dragon starts to perch, you throw an ender pearl to the center of the island and do the one cycle. It's basically putting beds on the obsidian and blowing it up when the dragon's hitbox is right on top of the bed. I'll leave a practice map and a more detailed video in the description. If you are trying to get a slightly faster time, you can do a strat called Zero Cycle. It's possible in roughly 30% of the seeds and basically eliminate the luck needed to get a quick perch. And again, I'll leave a more detailed video about it in the description. I hope that you learned all that you need and if this series helped you, please share it and subscribe for more Minecraft content. And I will see you in the next video.